Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE's cluster autoscaler feature enables clusters to automatically resize the number of nodes in a node pool without manual intervention based on your workload demands. The autoscaler triggers the node scale up events when there are unschedulable pods and node scale down events when there are underutilized nodes. The autoscaler prints any scaling decisions made to increase or decrease the size of the node pool, any errors that occurred during the scaling process, etc. as events or entries in cloud logging. The cluster autoscaler logs can help in investigating any issues with autoscaling. In this video, we will look at how to view the cluster autoscaler logs, including how to troubleshoot and resolve one of the events observed in the log. First, we will learn how to view the cluster autoscaler logs. In the Google Cloud Console, go to the Logs Explorer page. From the Resources drop-down list, select Kubernetes Cluster, then select the location and name of your cluster. From the Log Name drop-down list, select container.googleapis.com slash cluster autoscaler visibility. From the Time Range drop-down list, select a time range. In our cluster, we'll view the logs for the last hour. Cluster autoscaler events may also show up as notifications in the Google Cloud Console user interface. Notifications can help you monitor scaling events in the cluster and act on them if needed. Oh, there's indeed a notification in our cluster which states that the cluster autoscaler can't scale up nodes because node auto-provisioning is disabled. The details section below the notification may have some additional information about the event. If you click on Logs, it will take you to the Logs Explorer page directly. Now, let us look at the no scale up event, which is one of the most common event types. A no scale up event is logged if the autoscaler cannot scale the cluster any further. This happens if there are unschedulable pods in the cluster and the autoscaler cannot scale the cluster up to accommodate them. You can refer to the fields like reason and NAP failure reason to understand why scale up failed. The Reason field provides information on why the cluster autoscaler is prevented from scaling up the nodes. For our cluster, the Reason field has the value max node group size reached. This indicates that the cluster autoscaler could not scale up because the maximum node size for the node pool has been reached. Hence, no more nodes can be added. The NAP Failure Reason field provides information on what prevented the cluster autoscaler from provisioning additional node pools. For our cluster, this field is populated with value no scale up NAP disabled, which means that node auto provisioning did not provision any new node groups because node auto provisioning is disabled. To solve this problem, we can either increase the max size limit for auto scaling for the node pool or enable node auto provisioning for the cluster. Check out the documentation to see more about viewing cluster autoscaler events and understanding the different reasons for the same.